Welcome to Mary's Florida Kitchen. And today I'm going to bake bakeable shrimp and lobster pastries for you. It is a recipe that I came up with when I was going to have some friends over for wine and I wanted something special and different and I wanted fresh seafood. So I came up with this recipe and I'll show you how to make it. What I did was I went and I bought frozen puff pastry from any if in the freezer section of any grocery store you go to in America. And what I've learned is the, the colder you keep this pastry, the easier it is to work with. So what you do, and previously, before I even got the puff pastry, I had been to a cooking store and bought a nest of biscuit cutters that came in five different sizes. You use the bottom biscuit cutter to cut the bases for the bottom of your appetizer. The next size is the one that tops it. And you just cut them out like this. Now we have our cut out pastries and what we're going to go do is now make the filling for the inside of the pastries for the shrimp and the lobster filling. Okay. Here's our filling. Uh, Philadelphia cream cheese, half a cup, two tablespoons of chopped minced fresh dill. Fresh is very, very important. And two cloves of garlic, finely minced. This is going to be mixed together and it's going to complement our lobster and our shrimp absolutely perfectly. Now the cream cheese is at room temperature, so it makes mixing very easy. Add the garlic first. dill, and whip it together with your fork. Try to mix it as well as you possibly can, because you want the flavor to be throughout the cream cheese. There you go. Now we're going to assemble them. You take a piece of lobster chunk, put it right here on the bottom round. The next one, you take a piece of half deveined shrimp, put it right there. On it, you add a nice teaspoon of cream cheese with the dill mixture right there. Then I found working with pastry, it is so much easier to keep your fingers wet with water when you work with the dough. You put the top over the bottom, you take your fingers and you press it together. Sometimes you have to flip them over to get that nice everything squeezed in like that. Now after you've got them all assembled, you're going to do the last step, which is probably one of the most important. You're going to make an egg whoosh. You take one egg, one teaspoon of water, just plain tap water, nothing fancy, and beat it together. Now the reason you're doing this, and a lot of people don't know this, puff pastry, if it has an egg whoosh on it, comes out of the oven with a perfectly browned crust and it's all puffed, it looks beautiful. So then you just dab on the egg wash, on the pastry. And just do it lightly so it's just a light coat. And there you are. Now that we're done, we bake them in a 450 degree oven for 10 minutes. And in 10 minutes, they come out beautiful. Hey, they're ready. Uh, pull these out. Mmm, I can smell the seafood. And what I do is I let these sit 
an additional 10 minutes before I serve them to guests because otherwise you don't want them to have an atomic bomb in their mouth with the heat from the oven. So they're going to sit for 10 minutes, then I'll plate them up. After they were finished, I garnished them with a little piece of fresh dill just to make them look even better. Now they're all perfectly ready for your guests to enjoy. Um, I'd like to thank you for all coming to Mary's Florida Kitchen today, and I hope you learned a fabulous recipe to use. Thank you.